hold down. We got a quick pickup though. Let's see if we can go find that carrier. No carry's been pulled down. Yeah. Hey, he dropped. He actually dropped the flag there for Viji to pick up. Ah, but it will be returned. <laughs> WN this time gonna try to make his way out. He's got 30 seconds to hit the cap. Messa not gonna be able to get out of the base. We're gonna go back over to WN's point of view. And I can get there in time. No, I will not. All right. So the first map will go handedly to etc. They have shut out the paramedics. And uh, we're going to see if, on the next map, paramedics can uh, get some breathing room and uh, try to rack up a couple of caps against uh, these guys who uh, really had a very solid showing here. WN on top with a solid score, 52 frags, and only 14 death strokes. That is impressive. So I'm curious to see if we're going to see any roster changes. Uh, in some ways, I'm hoping that paramedics doesn't change up anything. Um, because I'm wondering if that's going to uh, kind of hurt them, because right now they've got the guys warmed up. I'm actually kind of surprised I don't see Wonko or Butcher playing. Yeah. I know they play a lot of uh, pickups. That's true, yeah. I, I did expect to see Wonko. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, so for those in IRC who are asking uh, what my rail settings are, I'm going to post them on our forums. So uh, if you go ahead and register at quakelive.tv, um, I will add that to uh, one of our forum threads and have the uh, sort of lightsaber grill shots. <laughs> I'll also post uh, the HUD I use. I've got a couple people who have seen, um, obviously, we can't make any changes to the spectator HUD, but whenever I'm in game, um, people have looked at my HUD and said that they liked it. Uh, so I will post that up there as well. We're going to go live right here. Uh, we don't have any roster changes. And so this will be it right here. And we're going to start off... We're going to watch... Uh, we're going to watch Shizen. Fusion, let me know when you get in here, man. If TGM is going to leave, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I gave him the link to the server. He's going to be okay. joining here. Cool. Yeah, dude, I'm working on it. On the way. So she's about to. Oh, actually, he gets popped uh, by walking over the head of Mesta. Not able to pick up that flag, and Mesta just puts him to rest. And uh, that first flag attempt by etc. has been thwarted. Mesta dodges rockets by Shizum, and uh, Shizum this time will get his revenge. And that region is popped. We're going to see it picked up by Shizum. He's trying to escape uh, a very hungry shaft work. All right, there it is. We got fusion on the server. Wonderful. Still no pickups, guys. One minute burned in this matchup. And uh, Shizum trying to do a little bit of a plasma pop. He's going to RJ out. He spots a weak, spo a weak spot in the defenses. And he's on the run. He's got help from defenders. And uh, he's going to grab himself a little bit of an RJ. And that is the first cap. Nice moves by Shizum. That is how you move through this map, ladies and gents. Uh, Shizum getting a well-earned first cap of this map. Zero coming through with very little health. Almost able to pull down Shizum, but uh, the guy with that RA will keep him alive. And WN showing his stuff on defense. Let's go take a look at him here. We're going to see if we can go hop over to WN. Just a little bit. Watch, watch the little D. There we go. Looks like they're just chilling, having a good time over there. Just kind of hanging out, waiting for somebody to come in. We got a double pickup. Shizum is running it for etc. And uh, the other pickup, I think, was uh, Zero. Shizum doing very well on stack. Yeah, he's, he burned through all of his uh, all of his armor, but he picks up the RA. And uh, yeah, Zero just doesn't even see him as he comes through, and he will get the frag there. And he's just waiting for a return. Let's see if we can find the other carrier real quick. It is Mesta. Mesta able to get away. He's a little bit low on health. No armor. So what are you seeing on your infusion? I'm going to watch Mesta for a minute. Hey there, buddy. 
Regen. Alright, maybe I lost my co-host. We got a regen and picked up by Scream. He will not be, uh, he won't get very far. We actually have the, uh, red carrier able to pick up that regen. And so he hightails it back to base. He's gonna face off against one guy, and he decides, uh, looks like Fusion timed out. Uh, it looks like, uh, he decides to just kind of play cat and mouse here. He didn't want to expose himself. So you can see how he's, he's backing off. He's not engaging. And I'm really liking this here by Shizum. He's gonna let his teammates go, uh, take the brunt of that uh, first contact here while well, he just backs off and gets a bunch of armor He stacks up and uh, just kind of sits tight. Let's go take a look. We're gonna see uh, Mesta. Mesta's still alive, but now down to half health and 38 armor And we're gonna see a uh, nice rail Mesta now really hurting here 13 health able to defend himself against one But not against two and Jones will get the return. That's gonna give a cap to uh, Etc. They get their second on this map. Jones is ready to pick up this flag. Ian is uh, getting pulled apart here, and it uh, looks like uh, Scream will take down that carrier one more time. Four minutes in, and there's been uh, two caps in Etc.'s favor, and we're seeing paramedics able to kind of slow the momentum a little bit. Uh, because as we saw towards the end of CTF2, etc. had really picked up the pace. Um, and so far, Paramedic's doing pretty well. We're going to watch Scream. It looks like he's playing a little bit of D. And he just lets that flag return uh, naturally. Shizm making a push. And we're going to probably see a double up here. we got uh, Shizm pulling Scream down quite a bit. But now there's a nice move with a uh, shaft work. Scream and shaking out. Uh, I think it was W in there. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like we lost our co-hosts. So I'll hop back in. Alright. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. We have a regen pickup by Shism, And he is uh, actually moving to D here. Now he changes his mind, turns around. I think maybe was he waiting for teammates? Was he was he communicating stuff? Uh, um, let's see how this pans out. Let's see if he's going to have a, a bit of help here. And as he makes a run, he will enter with LG and uh, get pulled apart by two guys. Mesta getting the frag. It looks like uh, paramedics had fallen back completely on defense. I, I think I just saw all four guys there. And uh, they wanted to shut down that regen. I actually kind of like that play. But now we're going to see the reversal. We're seeing at least two guys making a push, etc. Making a push on that flag. WN falling back on D. Uh, Jones going to pull apart in mid. Mesta falling up behind and going to get pulled apart by WN. So we got an exchange of frags in the middle. I'm going to look for an aggressor here. Scream remaining on defense. Uh, he is a lone soldier at the moment. Nessa getting uh, shafted up the pooper uh, as uh, an Etcetera guy came through that red armor portal and pulled him apart. Shizm getting out with 23 health and uh, needing a mega, wanting a mega, but not going to have enough health in order to grab it. Now he's going to face off against an LG. We're going to have a return by Mesta. Excellent. And keeping that score locked down at two caps, Mesta. Uh, pull it together for his team. Let's take a look. Stats-wise, Mesta is on top. 10 frags, 16 deaths, though. Now, if we take a look, we have uh, all of the um, uh, f uh, death counts for paramedics at, uh, you know, 14, 16 range, roughly. Yeah, and, and right now, Excedra is doing a really good job of attacking in twos every time, Impressive. trying to mm -hmm. overwhelm that defense. We got to pick up by Viju. Oh, and a nice wall shot. We're going to see a frag exchange by Scream and Viju. A regen picked up by Shizm. That's going to leave the blue flag uh, in that stairwell. We're going to see if Shizm is going to be able to... Uh, fight. And he's actually moved back on D. So this is interesting. They're really not using regen for offensive pushes. We've seen Shizm grab it uh, at least twice now, and he will fall back on defense with it. Um, hmm, interesting. That's interesting uh, play with that. Yeah, usually that regen will be a nice, uh, uh, you know, sort of way to get a bit of a distraction on uh, an offensive push. But uh, you know, hey, you know, play, play, it with, however it works. We got an immediate frag against Ian as he tried to pick up that flag, and 